Hello and welcome to the TMC Newsroom. My name is Rich Tarani coming to you from San Jose. On our program today is Misha Cooperman, who's the VP of Operations at Contendo. How are you, Misha? I'm very good, thank you. How are you? Um, fantastic. Thanks for being on the program. I was hoping that we could start by talking about uh, content delivery networks and pain points that customers are feeling. Absolutely. Um, in the content delivery world, uh, there is a huge change happening. Uh, content is becoming uh, personalized and also people's expectations about the speed at which re they receive the content is changing. So the difference between losing a sale or losing a customer is literally measured in seconds today. And so uh, it's becoming evident but more by the day that, that that's the case and even um, search engines are beginning to take speed into their speed into account in their uh, ranking algorithms because it's it's obvious that consumers just have less and less patience as time goes on. How does your company help uh, solve uh, problems of, of slow content delivery and application delivery? Um, you're absolutely right about the search engine part. A in fact, in April, uh, Google made an announcement that they will take into account the rankings, and I think they will weigh them more and more as time goes on. As far as what we do, uh, we provide a suite of services that help you do everything not only from um, accelerating the speed at which content is delivered but how fast you can publish the changes, how fast you can see uh, issues with the network. Um, generally we accelerate every bit of the, uh, the essentially the food chain of CDN. So starting from the DNS uh, to the small object to the large object, at the end of the day to the customer translates to a very cohesive real-time experience. Now you've got uh, different uh areas that you help with. You've got General Enterprise as one of the subsets. Absolutely. You've got uh, ad networks as well, right? Right. And you've got e-commerce. So those are three of the, the places that you play in. Uh, how do you help in those different spaces? Uh, it's different in every one of them, but at the end of the day, uh, they're all looking for, you know, avoiding risk in a, in, in a sense. Um, for enterprise, risk means availability. It means being able to roll back, and so we provide a lot of instrumentation around staging content without without exposing the production sites, uh, about being able to roll back very easily, about doing A/B testing. Uh, on the e-commerce site, performance is the key, and performance also means availability. So we provide a lot of tools for managing how fast your content is delivered, how it's personalized, making decisions at the edge versus back at the origin server. Once again, translating into a faster user experience. Um, our DNS system also allows to make uh, you know, a, a marginal increase in speed where we have sever several little tools uh, with, with about uh, 100 to 150 different points where we improve by 1%, but at the end of the day, uh, with a combination of these technologies, provide 30 to 40 percent better experience versus, you know, anybody else in the market and, you know, 10x, 20x better than Origin Server. So you, um, you obviously have some products that are uh, of interest in today's market, so I'm curious to hear specifically the different vertical markets that you are addressing and, and uh, how many customers, like is there a lot of customer growth and internationally what's happening? Can you yeah, uh, I'll start with the international piece. Uh, we're, we're seeing tremendous traction in Europe. Uh, we're opening up an office in France and in Germany uh, to address the market demand. Uh, we're very, very strong in the United States. Uh, we're expanding right now in APAC. You have to remember we are a young company, and so we are, uh, f for a company that's been selling for a year and a half, we actually have a very, very large uh, and very good global coverage. Um, as far as the verticals, our sweet spot is by far e-commerce uh, and uh, enterprise. So we, once again, have tool sets that cover those uh, specific uh, customers. Everything from reports to the t way the technology is implemented to the way the services play with each other uh, speaks really well to the buyers of these services. When they, when they come to us and they give us their business problem, I mean, th this is what we solve. We don't give them just the technology. We actually make the technology solve a business problem. Now. Uh your company is uh, in a market which uh, some are saying is, is more commoditized. So the question I have is, how are you differentiating yourself? That's a perfect question. I think the CDN market in general is commoditizing, uh, but the space we're in is not. Um, so there is the part of the CDN market that deals with the static file delivery, uh, you know, the movie, the, the sort of one-to-many content. Right. Um, that thing, we, we do that very well. 
And that, but, but it's not really our focus. And, and that's the part of the market that's commoditizing. Where we are focused is this value-added services segment where a customer comes in and they need a whole suite of products like DNS, uh, DSA, SSL, uh, application delivery. Right. And this is where our products are, uh, we, well, this is where all of our customers are pretty much focused, and this is where we're focused. Now, uh, in terms of customers that uh, you're attracting that may have been with uh, other networks beforehand, what are some of the reasons that they're switching over? Um, there's, there's really three reasons. Uh, reason number one is performance. Uh, you cannot, especially in the verticals that we're working in, until you get to the performance piece, forget about anything else. So we have to show on par or better performance, and okay. it usually has to be better. Uh, the second uh, is feature set. Okay. When a customer comes in and gets to actually touch the product suite and see how it all interoperates together, they fall in love because nobody in the industry offers this. Uh, being able to do something in real time versus in four hours or eight hours or 24 hours, being able to see your site's behavior immediately after you make a change or immediately during a campaign and being able to react to it is critical. So performance, reliability, and then of course you have, uh, f uh, I'm sorry, performance, reliability, and feature set is, is really key. Uh, the last, and I don't want to say last in terms of, uh, in, in terms of, uh, importance, but it's security. We're dealing with a much more sensitive part of the market, and we've taken a lot of extra steps to make sure to guarantee to our customers that their content is secure, their certificates are secure, their data is secure. So we've taken steps like external penetration testing, internal penetration testing, third-party automated scanning that give not only, you don't, have, you don't have to take my word for it, it's actually reputable accredited vendors coming in and basically making giving the guarantee that we are in fact the safe place to transact now what's next for the company uh, next we're moving into a very interesting space uh, it's uh, I don't want to say cloud computing but uh, you know the, for people to understand I think it has to be it, it, it is definitely in that quadrant we're going to be taking uh, decisions that are typically made at the origin today and making them at the edge um, that has an almost infinite amount of uh, application for our customers. But once again, at the end of the day, it will translate to even faster websites, even more reliable speeds, uh, e and more complicated and rich applications that our customers can uh, uh, run on our network. And it will further differentiate us from the competition. Well, that's very exciting. Thanks for being on the program. It was uh, very nice to meet you. Thank you. Likewise.